Ray with the Ray's Air Conditioning and Heating here. I had a no cool call from a customer. A customer called me, said uh, AC wasn't cooling. I told her I'll be right there to turn the AC off. When I got here, do you think the AC was off? Um, no, it wasn't. I got to the side yard. I found a running air conditioner, frozen condenser fan motor with the compressor not running, most likely out on overload. So I opened the box, find no continuity between the the uh, uh, the, the windings on the compressor, and I found the capacitor to be five out of five, marking five out of five microfarads, meaning um, the capacitor is good, and that indicates that the that the condenser fan motor is bad. So now I gotta change the condenser fan motor and cool down the compressor. Uh, you can't do them both, right? Uh, you gotta do one or the other. I usually get a hose and and uh, wait about 10, 15 minutes with the hose in my hand and the hot sun. Uh, with the compressor now, my new tool, um, not anymore, it's compressor by Subco. It's a pretty cool tool. It's a uh, valve body water disperser with a uh, magnet, encapsulated magnet, not your regular magnet. It's a very strong magnet, not the same magnet that holds your your uh, mail and bills and your uh, and your five-year-old's um, beautiful artwork on the refrigerator. You know, it's not the same one. Very strong magnet that supports the, the uh, hose when you stick it onto the compressor and turn on. You see all that water is getting dispersed evenly, and that's the trick. You know, you're using all the every single drop of water, and uh, what usually takes 10 to 20 minutes, sometimes even half an hour, um, holding the hose, you get done in three to four minutes. Uh, so this is, leaves me hand free. I got that on autopilot. Now I could start. Gives me time to change my uh, condenser fan motor, which need to be done in a capacitor. And um, meanwhile, we're waiting for that beep. I got my. I got my uh, my multimeter set up with the clips, and we're waiting for the beep that indicates continuity. So I'm gonna start. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long it takes. Man. I was running it for about a minute before I decided to make this video. Um, so I got my box out already. Went to my truck already. Got my box out. Um, it's a quarter horsepower. Uh, replacing it with a quarter horsepower. And, but there goes there goes the beep. There goes the beep. I think. Yep. It's beeping. Turn that off. Let's see. Yep, we got continuity, so we should have a power back to the compressor. Let me unhook these. And uh so that only took two two three minutes. Um not long at all. I just saved you. You know, 20, 30 minutes plus some momentum. Um, yeah, it's a compressor tool. It's a pretty cool tool. Um, simply just screw it on. And this, this is a, this is an on and off thing. It's not included with the the compressor, but you could buy this for five dollars at any hardware store. Um, really convenient because if you have a hundred foot hose or you're on a, uh, oh, or you're on a, uh, you're on a commercial roof where the hose is two, 300 feet away, and you want to cool down your compressor, you don't have to walk back and turn it on. So uh, the uh, sub-cold compressor, uh, find it in stores. Get it before the summer. It's going to be a hot one. Thank you.